hope this shit don't look too bad. <clears throat> too shabby. But I'm tired. I'm musty. And I'm tired. I ain't had no shave. I ain't got my dribble right right now. I'm trying to get with trying to get it right. I'm eating CMOS gummies. Go to my website. I got my own CMOS gummies. I don't know if y'all wear that, but 100 percent organic CMOS gummies, man. Keep you in a loop. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. Hey yo, y'all remember when, uh, on Family Family Ties when we first heard 40 Cal for the first time? That Family Ties um, beat come on and be like, dun, 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 40. Try to prove it this shit. <laughs> hey yo, where 40 at? 40 said, I'm tired of proving this shit. Hey yo, man. I can't believe this, man. Hey, y'all, this is going to be a good one. It's, it might be short, but it's going to be powerful and it's truthful. Because I'm tired. I'm tired, man. Oh, man. I'm tired, man. I can't believe what's going on. As I look across the cyber world... He said, Ernie gonna be pissed like when he shot that fake jump shot. Shout out to everyone. Man, y'all gotta share this live stream, man. It's gonna get, just look at the numbers now. Look at the numbers now, right? Y'all see who here? And look at the numbers in like five minutes. Mm, mm, mm. Slot going. On, um, are y'all looking at my shorts? Go watch the shorts on this channel. Shorts are monetized now. I want y'all to go look at the shorts on my channel. Are y'all watching them? He said Brian Glaze Gibbs trying to follow in your steps. I see. Actually, he's not. He he has videos published on the Southwest Tea topic from last, um, probably late, like last year, at least six or six nine six months ago. So, shout out to everybody doing this shit. But we all know it's only one dribble. Thinking about changing my name. I'm going to run a couple monikers by y'all and let's see how these fit. Y'all ready? <laughs> nah. I'm thinking about changing my name, though. To Big Brother Dribble Almighty. <laughs> hey yo hey yo boy this is gonna be a big one I gotta admit yeah that's my new name man big brother dribble off all my teeth that's y'all gotta call me from here on out for the next for the rest of the night big brother dribble all my teeth y'all got it <laughs> hey yo, listen. Hey yo, I'm I'm just trying to get by, man. I'm doing bad. I done resorted to selling with with JoJo Capone. I'm saying the nigga selling old woman hats. I done resorted to selling cotton crochet hats. You know what I'm saying? Like the church, like the, like, like the bake sale and shit. Like the arts and crafts. I didn't resort to that in CMOS. It's really hectic out here. I need y'all to go to my website, www.therealdribble.com, man. I'm doing bad. Listen. Listen, man. Y'all know I'm doing bad. I be on here trying to hustle my ass off. I'm just trying to get by, man. Just trying to sell a little. My ancestors. They spent all their time, they died in the cotton fields. I'm just trying to get back, right? Listen, the whole time that this shit been going on with this BMF shit, I was just trying to hustle the whole story. I just, 
I'm just doing my thing. I'm dribbling, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to relate to y'all. The whole it had it has to be some hustle involved with it. You can't just be looking pretty and muscular and shit. You got to it has to be an element of hustle. I'm trying to hustle this motherfucking story and shit, man. I don't care what's going on, but one thing I know in my mind, I say I know this, there's no way in hell. <laughs> I'm saying to myself, you know, I done met the Gatlin family. I'm I'm encountering different thing, th different shit going on. I'm saying to myself, they hating on this nigga. <laughs> I'm saying to myself, man, them Gatlins, they hating on him. In my mind, them St. Louis, that whole shit, I'm like, man, they mad that nigga got 27 years, man, fucking around. They mad, man. They I'm saying, man, them niggas. That, that girl, Tamara Gatlin, I'm like, she's in her feelings. This is what I'm saying privately. Like, I don't know about this. They saying that this man did this. There's no way that it has to be a third party in the middle of this shit until I read it. Oh. Hearing about it is one thing, man, but I never in a million years was prepared to read that shit with my own eyes. They shouldn't have never pissed that nigga blue off. They made a mistake. They should have cleared his name. <laughs> Ooh, we. Hey, man. Elizabeth, this is one of them nights. Uh, oh, my. Hey, yo. Hey. Hey, yo. Nigga sent me. This had nothing to do with Meech. This had nothing to do with Meech. I just thought, hey. I just thought Southwest T, hold on, hold on. I thought Southwest T getting out of jail early was a little suspicious. I thought it was a little fishy. That's it. My, my speculations had nothing to do with Demetrius. They had nothing to do with Demetrius. I'm distancing myself from this right now. Oh, I'm distancing myself from this right now because it might be ninjas involved. <laughs> Yo, it was Southwest T, but they didn't make this nigga blue mad. This nigga blue mad, man. He's angry, man. And they didn't came with some motherfucking paperwork. Goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. They put it in the comments, and I read it. I didn't even have to read far to find it. I said, I wasn't prepared for that, and I'm distancing myself now. I ain't got nothing to do with it, but it's real. <laughs> oh, my goodness, this shit is real. Right in the middle of the TV show. Blue. Get low. <laughs> it's time to get low. <laughs> the ninjas, the ninjas, the ninjas will be on the way. Hey, yo, he said, not surprised. Hey, man, 30 years is a long time, yo. Tony Lewis from D.C. has been in jail a long time. 30 years is a long fucking time, man, especially if you over 30 when you get it. That's a long time, man. It puts you in the fucking nursing home, damn near. Let's just say this. In the world of wrongdoing, the jungle creeds say the strong must feed on any prey at hand. That's what they told me. In a world where people lie, steal, kill, sell drugs, Rob, it's just lawlessness. It's complete lawlessness. You cannot expect no morale in this environment. It just don't make no sense. How can you strike morale in the middle of all of that? How can you do it? You can't. You can't. If a motherfucker rob you, there's a good chance that they're probably a liar. It's a whole bunch of corrupt. It, it, it's just a the twisted web we weave. Y'all already heard it before. But, um, no, nah, y'all got to watch. Y'all got to go look at the, uh, 
Go look at the shorts. Go go look at the shorts I, I uploaded on this channel about 10 minutes ago. And if not, follow me on Instagram. And you could go look on Instagram at I am Gully TV underscore. At I am Gully TV underscore. Go follow me on Instagram and tell me what you see. Oh, man. I don't want to say that I led the charge on this expose, but Southwest T, he just... Southwest T, he just, he blew up the spot. He blew up the spot. He blew up the spot, man. But um, it's over. It's over, y'all. It's over, y'all. It's all over. Damn. I didn't expect this. I ain't lying. Sheesh. I want to clear my name. I ain't got nothing to do with this shit. <laughs> Hottest video online. Blue Da Vinci airing his truth on this channel. Subscribe here. You don't want to miss it. Motherfucker hit me up today. He said, man, how you always get the exclusives and shit? You got to know how to boogie, man. You got to be, you got to know how to boogie, man, and not be afraid of the boogie, man. That's it. He said, what's well, over? Why is he talking vague like this? Man, it's over, man. It's over. It's over. If y'all don't understand what I'm saying right now, you will within the next 15, 20 minutes. Y'all need to ask Barima about his relationship with her up until it all went down. Man, I think he's closed the show. I mean, we in touch. I can call him and we can speak again. But I think, uh, oh boy, it's money on the flow. It's money on the flow. It's Christmas, YouTube. It's about to turn Alpo-ish. Y'all remember how YouTube was that week that Alpo met his demise? That was um, Halloween two years ago, I believe. Man, it's all kind of money on the flow, man. Subscribe to the channel. Go to my website, www.therealdribble.com. You can read my bio. You can learn more about... The fantabulous, the fa the fabulous dribble. You can go. I almost created a new word, fantabulous. That kind of that, that was kind of also look like that fantabulous. I have to copyright that. Somebody gonna steal that shit. I should have set it on live. Anyway, the fabulous dribble. Go to my website, www.therealdribble.com, man. Read my read about all my accomplishments. <laughs> read read my bio. Share it. Invite your family to come to come and get Gully TV Dribble Inspired Apparel. The fabulous PA Knit. Look at this. All hip hop inspired. Dribble man. Dribble man. Oh. Now I'm relieved. Y'all ain't gotta keep talking about me, cussing me out in my comments on Instagram, tagging me the niggas I don't know. It wasn't me, and it wasn't blue. It's St. Lou. He said, give me credit, Gully. I sent you live to WAC 100 last night. I don't feel accomplished by you sending my shit to WAC 100, nigga. I was popping before WAC. I'm the dribble. Them niggas need content. He said he thought I was going to be elated. I'm from the East Coast. Come on, man. Don't do that. So what was the Polak phone calls through? I ain't telling you niggas nothing. Have y'all looked at that paperwork? It's the last time. 40 cow on, um, what it was? Family Ties, that shit came on. What do you say? Try to prove in this shit. <laughs> yeah. Tired of proving this shit. Who the best? Subscribe. They still they still tell me by way of my analytical reports. 75% of 
of my viewership ain't even subscribe. Subscribe. You niggas be hating but watching from afar. Y'all don't want me to see y'all name in my subscriptions. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all, man? He said, Gully, you stop piffing. This live stream was too prestigious and too vital to get copyright violated. So I'm eating CMOS gummies. You can join me by going to my website. I got my own CMOS gummies. You see that? They 100% organic. CMOS on the run. You see You see, I'm sitting here chewing and snacking and shit. Hey, Tay, I'm going to start. Look, anybody that, did, did, did anybody that, sh if she zap yo statement i'm kicking you out of here for life if she don't like you i don't like you that's the rule from here on out if i see her zap you your ass getting out of here forever let me make an example what's this nigga name that's how we're gonna do that When you going to reply to Gene? Who's Gene? Do you know how out of touch that nigga is and how desperate that nigga is for content? Do you know that they was on that other channel saying that I'm not even from the United States? I be on here drinking out of coconuts and shit like that. And y'all got to saying that I was from a, another country. They were saying that I was an immigrant. They <laughs> saying that my mom was an immigrant. <laughs> they said they was act, they were saying that we was a uh, illegal alien, illegal in America and shit. Got a bitch. Where did I have a bio? Go read about the dribble. Dumb shit. Did y'all see that stupid shit? He said, I just seen her zap one real quick. Why is, is it a crime for... It's not a crime. I just... I mean, he got songs... Uh, dedicated to him i think i'm big meech he got songs dedicated to him he has tv shows he's celebrated by a lot of people i guess and um boy this is about to be hectic this is about to be a very very interesting week it's like he went to war defending the reek and alpo i never went to war defending alpo alpo killed a lot of motherfuckers i wasn't surprised at what happened to alpo he said i'm defending alpo but trying to destroy big meech no i'm not the difference between meech and, and and alpo is alpo told in front of everybody and he still did more time than southwest t alpo did like 25 years in the penitentiary southwest t beat him home so let's not Let's not, please. What's the numbers TV playing your blue interview right now? If anybody got my shit on their channel, they're getting flagged as soon as I get off of here. I'm telling you now. A nigga made a video about me saying that I was inform uh, informant. I'm not an informant. I'm telling y'all in front of everybody. If I catch you bum niggas with my content, I'm flagging your shit. That's the rules here. We protected by uh, by copyright shit like that. Do not po do not take nothing that I'm doing and try to illegitimately piggyback it. If I see it, I'm flagging your shit. I'm telling you now. That go for everybody. You niggas is not my friends. You're not helping me. None of that shit. I'm telling you niggas now. It started with the Haitian Jack shit. If I, when I catch anybody with it, your ass getting booked. The same for the uh, the ears to Christ. I'm tired of you niggas doing that shit. If I catch you doing it again, my man who made that video with that cheap ass jewelry on, take that cheap shit off. You ain't did enough numbers to earn that shit. Take that shit off and yeah, I flagged your channel, nigga. I don't fuck with you. I don't even know you. You made videos talking about I'm the police. I flagged your channel. Like we doing felony crimes on here. Broke ass nigga. I don't fuck with you. I don't even know you. You should have asked me, could you lease my content? Put my shit on your channel. Niggas ain't even doing nothing. You're not traveling. You're not getting on no flights. You're not taking no risks. Niggas be wanting to bust my head behind some of this shit. These niggas be running off with the profits and shit. I'm, t I'm telling. If you don't like it, go make a video out of this. I'm telling if I catch you with my shit. 
You got it? Thank you. Now, he said this on World Star. You hear what I said and shit. You hear what I said. He said, why if you take other videos and post them like the FBI agent Wayne Perry? I interviewed her. I interviewed that woman, Jerry Williams. I had permission to get that video. I showed her how to make a living on online. She didn't even know how to use this shit. She's the first female black federal agent y'all ever been exposed to. I brought y'all that. Stop piggybacking and get to work. Niggas talking about I'm telling. That's following the rules and shit. Are you going to break down the paperwork? Hell no, nah, I ain't breaking down no fucking paperwork. I posted it. Somebody put the links in there. I didn't have it. I didn't have it. Somebody posted that shit in the links. In my comments from St. Louis, I imagine. And I read it and my mouth hit the floor. Straight like that. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't. I'm not going to post it. I gave what I posted. It was what y'all going to get. Go to Instagram and see it. Or you can go to. You can watch it here in the short. He said, Anthony Davis get a Lakers hope long as. I couldn't wait to talk about that bum ass nigga making videos talking about I'm telling on him. Nigga, I don't fuck with you. I don't know you. It's called complying with the rules. Don't you know I done been in copyright school about being out of bounds and shit? Keep your hands off of people's shit. Y'all know what y'all be doing when y'all go download a video. You got no connections. You know what I'm saying? You got no connections. Nobody knows you. You trying to start from scratch in your bedroom and shit. You can't hop into this shit on niggas' backs who been working for 20 years and shit. Get a job, my nigga. He said, wait until Crown Court get their hands on that. It's not, um, that's not court testimony paperwork. That was, what I was reading was like the opening arguments or some shit. You should interview one of the attorneys that was involved with the BMF case. I ain't interested. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. I just had some speculations about Southwest T. Me and Blue Da Vinci, uh, we met before uh, in Miami. I, I met him before outside of Liv or some shit. Um, he called me. Y'all heard everything he said and shit. Do y'all believe him? That's up to y'all. I believe most people starting to believe him, though. When Blue, uh, he said, uh, cut off the volume and look at j -Bo's posture. <laughs> look at his body, his body language. A person that's this telling the truth might say some shit like that. That sounds like the truth to me. He said, I believe Blue Da Vinci. Niggas be grabbing people's shit on and putting it on their channel and be talking about it and shit, man. Y'all got away with that shit for too long. YouTube cracking down on us, so. You niggas can no longer do that. Don't have my name on your fucking channel. You know what I'm saying? You want to make a video about me? You can talk about me. Don't take something that I made, something that I secured, and put it on your fucking channel for nothing. Up for debate. Whoever named it, your, your, what's in the numbers TV? Whoever y'all just said. When I get up off of here, I'm getting on your ass. I'm telling you. He said, I wonder what took him so long. They've been dragging him. I believe that was forced out of Blue Da Vinci. I believe... Well, of course, they. I knew about that lady for three years, and I met Tamara Gatlin, that's Cuffy's daughter, about two years. It's been about two years now. I'm pretty sure that he's known about it for a minute. Um, maybe j -Bo's interviews provoke Blue Da Vinci. That's what I think. I'm not all the way convinced either. It's interesting. I don't know who to believe. They all singing like sounds of blackness. Blue debriefed and cooperated. Nobody went to trial, so he going to yell where the paperwork at. These fools don't ever try to break bread with you. Want to look the other way when they steal. Yeah, like, um, oh, what's my man name? 
Art of Dialogue. I love your channel. I enjoy your interviews. You be stealing uh, Wave sometime. You can steal this. Go ask somebody. Everything that you're seeing unfolding over here, go get you a guest. You and Reggie Wright, all y'all be doing this shit. Go get y'all a guest and ask about the things that transpired here on Gully TV. There you go. Fame is killing a culture. Let me get you up out of here. Got him up out of here quick. He said the streets is done. Streets been done. It's a way to... Uh, <laughs> gotta find another way. That's it. Main event publishing hard. Gully, whose side do you think telling the truth? Whose side do I think telling the truth? I know that um, the, the shit that Blue Da Vinci said about when he met Meech, he was wearing dress clothes and shit like that. Somebody else told me that. Two other people told me that. That they was wearing like slacks and gaiters and shit like that. Um, when we seen him on Smack, Meech was throwing up gang signs. All of them was throwing up gang signs. I would believe what Blue said about them picking up that culture from the West Coast and shit. He said both sides ratted the website, www.therealdribble.com. Therealdribble.com. Do what you need to protect your bread. They're trying to take from your family. Dion Gatlin didn't even get time for that. He doing time for a body and another conspiracy. Hey, man, if that's, if that's the route y'all want to take with it, that's cool with me. It's cool with me. I ain't got no problem with it. What did you miss? Have y'all seen the recent relevate? Revelations, the, everybody that's here, do y'all know why y'all here? Do y'all know why y'all been called here? There's been some rele revelations. Let me see if I can. Hold on. I probably can read it on here. He said the blue interview. No, I didn't got more severe than that. It didn't got more severe than that. He said, whose paperwork is that? It says the United States of America versus Dion Gatlin. He said, there it is. He said, it's a little bl bl little blurry. Good. Y'all can go find the rest of it on y'all home, man. It's a hot kitchen, man. I, I had to hit this MacBook with a thermometer not long ago. Rumor has it was menace to society that made it to go. I don't know what you're talking about. He said, what I say, Blue been saying this. Blue seemed like he lying every time he speak. Big Blue homie was Meech. He could have signed Jeezy to a management deal and paid him a few million. They fumbled that. Blue said he ended up signing for 750 Gs. They threw that on the floor a lot of weekends and shit. He said that money, what's up? He said they should have left Blue alone. Yeah, they kind of provoked him. They kind of provoked him. I believe Blue was very transparent because if you listen to what he said, he didn't refute the things that y'all were saying about him. He said, I was young. I didn't know what the briefing was. I didn't know what talking to the, he said, I didn't know nothing. I was with my lawyer. All I did was I did, I pled not guilty. And other, I know I ain't telling nobody. That's what that, I thought that that was being very, very transparent. He said, poking the bear. 
Yeah, they was poking. And he said, Blue is a Benzino rapper. If you listen to my interview with Blue, Blue knew the ins and outs of the entertainment business. And he registered the BMF logo. He created the logo and he registered it. He said, I want this shit to, be stand, to stand out. These three letters, I want this shit to be like IBM. He had the legal mind and the one that was familiar with entertainment. Y'all try to, um, I don't know, downplay his accomplishments in music. He was on Outcast. I mean, he was on Razzcast, Conceited Bastard. He did do work with the Dayton family. Um, he did do work with he did do work with the Dayton family. He did do work with Fabulous. He did do work with different people and shit. His music wasn't everyone's cup of tea. That's cool, but. Hey man, we seen we seen worse. We seen worse become successful. So prior to meeting 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 Big Meech and them, he was already in films. He was already recording recording music. He was already doing music with like Trey D and guys from the West Coast, corrupt. And he he was already trying to do his thing. People try to suppress that. That's corny. He said he was in movies. He was an actor. He was also in the, he was also just in a Tupac movie not long ago. He said, that song, Work on the Smack DVD, was my shit. He said, Safari ain't no better. Blue better than Safari. <laughs> he said, his music was for the streets. I thought the, uh, the Cash Money, Rich Niggas remix he did on Smack, I thought it was dope. I fucked with it. He said, dr selling drugs wasn't his goals. He didn't get into that with him trying to be uh, a big drug lord and shit like that. He said he'd be lying on Jeezy. I think everything he said about paying for that studio time, I think that was very true. I believe that. I don't think that he would say that. And it wasn't true. He said, at least read the part we came here for. You got a super chat at Pimp. You got a super chat, and then I can see it. It's over a thousand people here. I can't. They they moving very fair, very fast. He said the Dayton family wasn't huge. The Dayton family are legends in the Midwest. You just not familiar with them because you probably not from the Midwest. Some of your favorite rappers, legendary rappers, grew up on a Dayton family. Mosea, thank you for your super chat. I appreciate you. You see how that worked out? You see how I could see that? You see how that was highlighted? Use that. It works. The super chat mechanism. He said, blue official, but he's not telling the whole truth. Jeezy might be a snake, but blue should have signed him to a management deal. I had blue mixtape. They was giving them away around Detroit around Super Bowl time when it was in Detroit. Blue trying to make them go legal with the BMF label was what brung them the heat when you think about it. I don't think that that was it. Did nobody tell them to put no fucking billboard up? That was just a dumbass idea. That was a dumbass idea. Oh, getting back to the, the, the fact that, you know, someone in here said that they not shocked. It's a lot of goddamn cocaine, man. They got they was in, they got caught with cocaine that'll put you on the shelf forever. That's the reason why the mafia, one of their rules was not to sell drugs and shit like that. This has been long broken, but one of their rules was not to engage in narcotics because the penalties are so severe and shit. He said. Blue been low key for a long time. He said the billboards were to introduce the label. Man, you can't get on no fucking billboard and you're selling dope. You can't get on no billboard. You can put posters in the record shops. You can put posters in the record shops. You can go to the to the to the uh to the sea, to the to the fish joint. You can go to the fish joint and hang up posters in there. You can put some posters down around on the poles, the telephone poles at Magic City, like everybody else. You can put some cards on niggas' windshields after the clubs, 
like everybody else. Man, they put that fucking billboard up there. It took a long time, I guess, for people to get hip. When I first seen them niggas on a DVD, I thought that they was just some niggas from down south doing music because all of them niggas from down south had that crazy ass jewelry at the time. Gucci, man, and they all had big jewelry. Down south rappers have had traditionally very, very gaudy jewelry. So I thought that they was a record label or something from Florida or some shit. And then I got to learn more and hear more. And I said, them niggas is going to jail. Them niggas is going to fucking jail. Hey, yo. He said he wanted to be Shug. If you thought Jeezy was BMF, you wasn't in the streets. Whatever that means. He said when Wolf got killed, that put a spotlight on him. Yeah, I, I was told that that kind of like changed Buckhead, I believe. Did you listen to Gates' interview with WAC 100? I don't know who that is, yo. You ever consider interviewing Uwe from BMF? Uwe got life, don't he? Uwe killed somebody. Don't he got life? I thought he got life in Florida. Jay Diggs said it and Jabo said it and Dexter Sosa said it so far. Blue is the one saying blue is the Go to my podcast, man. On Apple, Spotify, Spreaker, Deezer, Amazon, all of those joints. And you can hear the video of the interview with Blue Da Vinci in its entirety. Big worm. I go over a G on the regular, man. It's not nothing that. Just a hot, uh, a hot topic, man, for the night. Uh, make sure y'all go look at the interview before this, though, if you want the goods. He said a lot. He said a lot about Young Jeezy. This is viral on the motherfucker. Ain't no mask up there right now. Yo, you got to hit me on Instagram, and um, I'll plug you up. I got you. Ain't ooh, Don't ooh, we got life. He said, yeah, ooh, we out of there. That's what I thought. He killed somebody in Florida. He said, yeah. Jeezy was already in the streets getting money. How do you think he got around BMF? That's cool. They said he was somebody where he was from. I don't sleep about, I don't sleep on them niggas in them backwoods. I'd encounter some of them niggas from Alabama and Tennessee and Georgia, shit like that. South Georgia. Be in them woods getting big money. You wouldn't believe it. Niggas be in the woods, man, in cabins and shit with Gucci loafers on. 30 pit bulls. I bullshit you not. Dogs everywhere. He said the billboard was too much. They just ran Math Hoffa off live about his old rape case. I know you lying. Math ain't got no old rape case. Math ain't took no pussy. I ain't going to believe that. Math ain't took no pussy, yo. He said, Buck Buckhead was the spot until BMF. What's the name of your podcast? The Dribble. The Dribble Podcast by Gully TV. John ja Morant, fucking up. Major. We talked about this already. Seems like he, he's a he'll wannabe of some type. That's... It was never a rape case. He was never tried or convicted. Thank you. Why would y'all say that? Can you interview me? I think he gonna be trying to get with me shortly. I'll hear from the Flannery shortly. I only wanna talk to Meech. I don't wanna talk to Southwest T. Southwest T hot as a pistol. He is. I'll see that stroke. <clears throat> what would you say more women pop out on Hoff about? Ah oh, man. Hawkinsville and Macon. Go listen to the rest of the interview, man. This is a pivotal information. Me and my little man was listening to it before I uploaded.
And about five minutes in, he said, hold on, that's you. He said, man, that's you. I said, yeah. He said, God damn, man, we got to roll up again. <laughs> Shout out to Mitch. Yeah, it's me, Mitch. I'm right in the thick of it, man, the dribble. The dribble. It's pro ball. Reggie Clark, what up? That tickle y'all. T got out a little bit too early. Go look at the interview with Leighton Simon, the real Lamar, on Vlad TV. He said, how'd that nigga get out? <laughs> he, said, he said, yeah, how'd he get out early? <laughs> Go look at that shit. There's been context clues here the whole time. This shit stunk. This shit stunk. Everybody knew it stinks. Can't get away with this shit, man. Talking about coronavirus. Man, y'all know how many motherfuckers in penitentiary? It's blind. I see motherfuckers blind in jail. See niggas paralyzed in jail and shit. Niggas paralyzed, man. Got tubes on them and shit, man. Come out in the yard every now and then in a power joint. Niggas be fucked up all kind of way. They don't let them niggas home. Y'all think I'll, they, they gonna let this nigga home? This nigga ain't even skinny. You too big to get out early. <laughs> you better lift. You need to look more emaciated, motherfucker. You eating plenty motherfucking chi cheese and mackerel around this motherfucker. That you need to stop eating all these motherfucking zoom zooms and wham whams and shit. Talking about you can't breathe. Go do some fucking exercise. My man said, so meat set cup up and still, man, I ain't got. They said that Blue said. That the chick slept with the federal agent and fucked it all up. But I believe Southwest got some rhythm. T, I ain't gotten nothing personal with you niggas. I just happened to interview a lot of fucking gangsters and drug kingpins a lot. And the ones that I didn't interview, I, I, I converse with them. You feel me? Chaz Williams, just all types of... Man, what would Chaz say? What would Chaz say right now, yo? What would Chaz say? That's what I want to know. What would Chaz say? Rest in peace to Chaz Williams and rest in peace to Tom Sizemore. So who do you believe? I don't believe none of them niggas. I don't believe none of them. Because they're criminals. But Blue, everything that he's saying makes total sense. <laughs> We already know about that. He said, Chaz will say nothing. Southwest T skimmed millions from his brother. Had his baby mama call a known informant. Southwest is ruthless. Why on a Vlad interview, Jabo said he knew Blue wasn't right when he told and he put... Blue on the spot. I don't understand what you're saying by that. I ain't asking Blue nothing. I ain't asking him nothing. He just said enough. I ain't asking him nothing. Y'all got to... Anything y'all want me to ask, Blue super chat it. I ain't going to be able to see it. They coming too fast. That's what we going to do. Super chat everything y'all want me to ask Blue. Where my phone at? I'm going to call him right now. Get this shit going. He said, what's true? The action is the juice. Blue mad because he can't get no money from BMF. Blue said he owns the rights to the to BMF. He said he registered it. He registered it. He was the one to register it. When they started the company in Gardena, California, he was the one that did the paperwork. So he has the rights to the letters BMF. I think BMF ENT, I think that belongs to him. Gotta get your dribble right. I ain't see y'all ain't got no questions for Blue. Y'all niggas just nosy, man. Y'all don't wanna know the truth. Y'all don't wanna know the truth. Next time I get on here, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Blue and them niggas on my green screen. I'm gonna say. He did it! Tell Blue Miss Campbell said to keep his head up. 
All right, all right, all right. My man said they all hot. He said before I come cross you up, nigga, you can't do that with me, man. You see me dribbling this pill on carpet, nigga? What's wrong with you? He was always an artist, so yeah, he got the rights. So why he ain't getting paid if he got the rights? I don't know what sanctions, man. I know that there's a BMF and there's a BMF Entertainment. I think Meech and them is BMF Entertainment. Or maybe the Lady Tammy. Y'all like this video with 1,200 people here. Most of y'all lazy. I know it. Most of y'all ain't subscribed. So at least like the video. Because y'all ain't going to never subscribe. You, a lot of you niggas don't like me. But a lot of y'all ain't. You know. He said, keep... Bompton Jake was a camping and a pie rule. Seemed like Meech ain't got much to say. Much say so in BMF right now. Meech need to holler at the dribble, man. We clear things up. I got the ears to the streets. We can clear things up. The strip clubs. I, everything that he used to service, I service. I'm with y'all, but show the paperwork. I just posted a clip, a, a clip of it on this channel. It's on my um, my shorts. Go to my um, my shorts on this channel, or follow me on Instagram at I am Gully TV underscore. My Instagram going crazy right now. They can't believe it. I can't believe it. As I said at the beginning of this video, I was hustling this whole topic. I never in a million years would have thought I would have read what I just seen. Never in a million years, Leon P. Ass Blue, was he the one who told the feds about the ghost Meech had put up that five million in it? I believe Leon P. It was a limousine. It was a black limousine. And if you go listen to the interview, he give the name of the guy from St. Louis that told where that money was. Gully, I'm subscribing because I'm tired of watching the drunk bloggers. I can't believe you just now subscribing. I can't riddle me that. Philly in the building. Hacky Raw from Philly Trenches said that your channel was fire. Hacky Raw, what up, my nigga? I still be going through there seeing what you got going on. You know who um I'm so glad that up to, I'm so glad that up for the big TV nigga dead. Let's shout out the dead channels. <laughs> shout out to the niggas who tried to ride. Try to ride our names, man. Y'all was getting away with it for a minute, man, before you just ran out of fuel. Rest in peace, up for the bait TV. Zip his ass up. He's gone. <laughs> he tried to hold on. You know who else running on fumes? <laughs> you know who else running on fumes? I'm just waiting for him to go kerplunk. Hey, yo. That fat nigga from Jersey who couldn't breathe, he used to breathe like that. He's dead. He's gone. Um, Y'all know who the latest casualty. <laughs> He's a dead man. He's a dead man. Uh, he said, honor snatch. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I'm so glad this nigga finished, man. This nigga was annoying, man. Garbage ass. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to tell you so you can make a video. <laughs> that 10 toes down, nigga, man. I'm so glad that nigga dead, man. <laughs> that was one corny, annoying ass nigga, man. Sheesh. Hey, yo, when you see them niggas go belly up, man, it was like, man, I knew, just like Scheme Team. Y'all remember Scheme Team? <laughs> Baby Paw. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo, when these niggas go bed, when these niggas go belly up, man, he gonna go make a video about this. Hey, my nigga, talk to me. I took to, sound like Kurt Franklin, corny shit. You'll be able to make a video after you see this, man. I threw you a little alley, man, because I see, I see the uh, the disparity between your your uploads and shit like that. Three weeks a month and shit. 
It's getting hectic over there. It's getting dark. I know, man. Go on to the temporary agencies, man. Get your job, pimp. Go on, get your job. Get your job, pimp. Talk to me. I'll teach you to, 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 to park it. He's finished. Finish. Rest in peace to the uh, to the forgotten channels, yo. For real. How they not subs, they need to get in tune. Yeah, they don't be wanting to subscribe. Some of these niggas don't be wanting me to know that they fans and shit. It's cool. You're going to be all right. I had to get on here today, man. I know I look bad, man. I just got out the gym, but I've been working hard. I've been editing video. I've been working hard. I interviewed Blue. I did some delegating with some people. I'm in a movie coming soon. Just bear with me. I know I look bad. I ain't shaved. But I got y'all some of the dopest content online right now. I got some of y'all. I got some of the dopest content. Red tops, blue tops, green. Light up. He said he gave blue to Pete Maravich. Mm, mm, mm. He said they all told on himself this is crazy. Is the movie gonna be on Tubi? I don't know what what platforms. They're gonna be on the top platforms, y'all. Y'all gonna see me. I still don't believe blue. We ain't here trying to convince you. I'm not. I'm not. But there's paperwork out here now. There's paperwork. There's some very interesting paperwork. Like I really wonder, I really wonder what's going on on YouTube on the other channels right now. I know these niggas is rolling up their sleeves, man. Like the, everybody's jaw dropped. If you follow me on Instagram at I am Gully TV underscore, go look at. Tell me what you see. At I am Gully TV underscore, go to my Instagram page and tell me what you see. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. In the beginning, I was just riding the wave. As you see, as you see the uh, the title of this video, I was just going with the flow, just riding, just riding the wave. I didn't expect that. I didn't. He said, "Blue story never change." I thought that crew was flawless. Beside the known rats, this hurts. Why I hurt you? Cuff daughter been told you. I thought maybe she and her family was salty about something, you know, maybe they was getting some money together and he went to jail and they stopped speaking or maybe somebody didn't buy a person a car while they in jail. You know how the reason people fall out. I just didn't know until I seen it today. I've been speaking about Southwest T for three years about him being released early. It just looked funny to me. I wasn't targeting him. I'm just saying as a... In comparison to everybody else I've interviewed, I've read Glaze's book, Sean Branch's book, the, 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 uh, Cavario's books, Don Divas, all type of fucking blogs, cases, man, case law, man, like shit, that, just so much shit. And I've never seen any empathy from the system. I've never seen them release black men early like that. Especially for that, if they if they send you home from jail for a medical issue, you might be going to check out soon. You feel me? I didn't understand it. I would love for you and Philly Trenches to collaborate on the Cornwall Heights. I've never been to the Heights, yo. I don't know nothing about that. A little older than me and shit. I was up VQ. You hear anything about Max B doing a record deal? Max B, I don't know if there's any serious interest in Max B still besides in the Northeast sector. And it's it's getting bad. Like every day that go by, man, Max B is becoming more and more less relevant. It hurts me personally. It just hurts the legacy. We all kind of looked at them like the cool guys. We was cool before we encountered BMF. And uh, because we was who we was before the BMF story, I knew that niggas just wasn't eating that time like that. Niggas, what? Imagine this: you got money, you could buy everything in the world. You probably can buy two of them, 
But you can't buy your freedom. Unless you... But you can't buy your freedom. There's, enough, there's only one way to barter. Or, there's only one currency. Imagine having all the money in the world. You can't even spend it. Like it. We in a world where there's technology. Motherfuckers doing prison time with cell phones. Looking at what's going on all day. You know what I mean? They woman, your woman can undress at night in front of you and shit like that. Like These niggas is trying to get the fuck out of jail. Despite what anybody say about them. You feel me? I'm telling you. He said, tell on three, three and you go free. Are you insinuating me into your Rats Gully TV? No, I'm not. I got documents on my channel that you can read and you can draw your own conclusion. Because like I said, I didn't all the way believe that uh, Tamara Gatlin. I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't know, know the potency of this shit. This shit is serious. 50 Cent watching this shit right now. Trust me. He said, bro, 50 work with this broad. He said, maybe Southwest is dying and we don't know. Man, you got to use your head, yo. You got to use your head. Did Pac step pops get released? Yeah, he's home. He's in his mid-40s by now. Don't nobody want to die in jail at all. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'll say it again. I was hustling this whole topic. I just thought Southwest T looked strange, but this whole, everything that y'all been seeing recently with this BM, I was just hustling. I was hustling. The shit that just happened within the hour, I can't believe. I can't believe how quickly a person's name and legacy could change or could be in question this fast. And... Them niggas in them institutions probably gonna want some answers and shit. He said, you can't believe what? Make sure you're looking at the shorts on this channel. I, I, I uploaded two videos. They're shorts. They're like 30 seconds long. Watch those. Or you can go to my Instagram, at IamGullyTV underscore. Follow me. And look at the first, the last video I posted. Look at all the activity on my Instagram page right now. He said, what happened? They're in their 50s. I know motherfuckers in their 50s ain't trying to die in jail. You know niggas start having problems with their dick and shit when they're in their late 40s and shit, 50s and shit like that. In jail, you got the worst types of food, sodium shit, processed shit, GMOs, bunch of snacks and shit. That ain't doing nothing for your erection. These niggas is in prison watching their dick die. Watching your dick die. That's all you got in jail is your dick. Watching your dick die. This nigga's like, man, I gotta get the fuck out this motherfucker's holding his dick in his hand, man. Like, man, this motherfucker's on borrowed time. I can't believe this can die. He said, Where's the paperwork? I post the paperwork. I ain't posting shit. I posted you a little clip, a little little clip, a little clippy clip. You can read that. People have posted the uh, the paperwork in my comments. Read the comments, you'll see it. He said, I'm reading it. Y'all believe this shit now? He said, now they say most of BMF members weren't street. Just a couple guys were like that. Now they saying they weren't street. He said, it's crazy. Meech is Larry Hoover to the streets. Is he? What do you think of the Ja Morant situation? They said they're going to suspend him for 50 games about allegedly taking a pistol on a team flight. Folks should read the paperwork, but the part of the lady being informant is compelling. She just has the rights to Big Meech's businesses. My man said, I'm scared to read that paperwork. Me too. I ain't want to go any further. I didn't want to go any further.
all blue all blue guys, the blue rags were Meech and his originals picked up the culture and ran with it. Blue introduced Tammy to Meech. I'm not, so now y'all putting it back on Blue. Meech got to say something. Blue asking for proof. Blue said on the interview that Meech doesn't call him the police. Everybody here is calling him the police. Blue said the first person to ever call me the police, it came from Big Meech. <coughs> he said Big Meech no longer calls him that. <coughs> he originally said it in 2008. And he was in communication with Meech all the way up into 2017 when he asked him about paperwork that he had about this woman and this situation in St. Louis. He said he never heard. He said he, she, he, he said she ain't do nothing to me, and he never heard from him again. Great journalism, my guy. The greatest. The greatest. The greatest. Smooth Criminal said, I don't know it smells, it smells fake. Not fake at all. Not fake at all. There's docket, uh, the numbers, the numbers. It's in the comments. He said, me starting to go out bad. J Prince, J Diggs is up for all the old heads. What did, Gully, what did Blue say in that debriefing? I don't know, but he admitted to being debriefed on my interview. He said he didn't know what it was. Boom, 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 boom. Like this video. Hit the bell so you get the notifications and go to my website, get you a PA knit. I've been rocking this joint. I think this is called eggplant or lifesavers. I don't know. I got styles. He said, somebody cue up the law and order music. You think, I'm not, nah. Blue story is starting to make more sense. I agree. Post the paperwork, simple, we speaking on speculations. No, I'm not. Go to Instagram, I posted it. I am gully TV underscore. I'm about to get up out of here. I got ganja to smoke. I got ganja to smoke. And um, I got more records to break. Because, like, right now, the whole industry is talking about me. The whole industry is talking about what's going on on Gully TV right now. Everybody's talking about, you know what? That Gully TV guy, he been saying this shit. Because I knew it for some years. I just didn't have any proof. Didn't have any proof. Niggas ain't eating no fucking 30 years and then getting out early and shit. That don't make no sense. Try it again. They think black people stupid. That's why they did that. T, you should have stayed in another nickel, man. We might would have believed that you'd have did another. If you'd have did 20 out of 30, we'd have said, okay. You ain't do enough. Don't make sense. We no. No. Summarize what's going on. Nope, I'm about to get up out of here. He said, that's T paperwork. No, it ain't. That's Deion Gatlin and his co-defendants paperwork from St. Louis. Go to my Instagram page. The domination will continue. The dribble is immaculate. It's perpetual. It's flavorful. It's dynamic. It's original. It's the top shit going on out here. The Real Gully TV said, I like your channel. I will start tuning in. Will I be damned? Subscribe, man. And go to my website. Learn more about me. I'm a published author. I'm a clothing designer. I used to be an ill point guard. They called me to dribble. I'm about to get up out of here, though, man. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, man, but... Um, I think that people should try to... Look for your heroes within your family and shit. You might have, I spoke about my uncle, right? I spoke about my uncle on his platform before. He got more keys than anybody I ever encountered and shit. This key, he got keys to a speedboat, keys to his motorcycle, keys to his RV, keys to his Corvette. He's just a willy man, been working all his life. He's an uh, engineer. He retired now, but 
It just, I just don't, I don't, I ain't met a nigga live than my Uncle Tim yet. Boats, speed boats, you know what I mean? Expensive remote control, grown men toys, remote control cars, helicopters. You know what I'm saying? Stay out of jail, man. Get your dribble right, man. I'm up out of here. Peace.